Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how WebLabCast can help you achieve a great sound for your podcast fast. If you're creating podcasts, you're already aware of how important it is to have a great sound for your voiceover so that your message gets across to your audience and at the same time, how crucial it is that the mix with your music sounds natural, adding excitement to your podcast without interfering with your dialogue. WebLabCast allows you to do all this in the fastest way possible. Let me show you how. So here I have WebLabCast on my laptop and I'm going to show you how easily you can start editing your podcast. As you can see, I have a podcast right here and I'm using the audio montage function of WebLabCast. This mode gives you the ultimate flexibility when you want to edit your podcast. So I have three channels loaded. As you can see, I have the host, which is the voiceover. I have the music track and I also have the sound effects. So I have some sound effects right there. Now, the first thing you might want to take care when you're editing your podcast is take care of your voiceover. That's the most important element of a podcast. You can do all the usual tasks. You can trim your audio like this. You can split your audio very easily and you can move your audio across the montage very, very easily. All the usual suspects are there. We can perform fade-ins, fade-outs, and then I can also create volume envelopes very fast. For example, let's say that this portion was a little bit loud. I can create points like this. And then I can drop this level down very, very easily and precisely. So let's have a listen to this voiceover. I'm going to solo it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. For example, let's say I want to trim this audio right here. It's very easy. So you see this breath, maybe I want to get rid of this. I can go like this, select this portion and then hit delete. And now I can have a more snappy voiceover. Today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing. Now, the next and really important step is the processing of your voiceover. And that's what many people struggle with. They're trying to find the right plugins. They're trying to create plugin chains. They get lost in the settings. And in the end, the result might actually be worse than what they started out with. So let me show you how quickly you can get to a great sound with WaveLab Cast. Everything happens in one place. Everything happens in the track inspector. As you can see, we have the clean section and we also have the enhanced section. In this case, I'm going to start with the enhanced section. Right now, my voiceover is a little bit low in volume and we can see this very clearly in my level meters that we have in WaveLab Cast. Let's see. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about... A now, let's say that I want to make this vocal a little bit more clear, a little bit brighter, louder as well, but also make sure that any noise or any sibilance is not in the way. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to activate the voice exciter, okay? And let's listen to the clarity that this module can give you. As you can see, it's very simple to use, very few controls, but you can get to the sound instantly. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And as you can see, this already gives us this silky top end, a little bit of presence to our vocals. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's... Now, of course, if you want to, you can add some reverb for effect. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's... Or if you want your voice to sound a little bit louder than live, like a trailer voice, you can use the reverb module as a great effect to achieve this sound. The next module is the EQ, and this EQ is amazing for voiceovers. It's really designed so that it will enhance your voiceover. Let's check it out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm adding a low cut filter to get rid of the low end rumble. It could be air conditioning. It could be like thumping of your desk. All these things, you don't want them to be inside your voiceover. And then I'm adding a little bit of low end to my voiceover, taking out a little bit of the mids and adding a little bit of high end as well. And that's the difference between. And the next module is the maximizer. This can add quite a bit of volume and also a little bit of compression and limiting to your voiceovers so that they always stand out. Let's listen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. 
So as you can see, we achieved a lot of clarity, a lot of presence, and also quite a bit of volume just by using these three modules in the enhanced section. Let's listen with and without, and then I'm going to show you the clean section. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite... So massive, massive difference with just a few clicks. So now that we've done all this process and we can hear that we've also brought up the noise from the recording, that could be because of a noisy preamp or because the room is a little bit noisy, but WaveLab has all the tools you need to solve this problem. And that's in the clean section. In the clean section, we have the dehummer. This is really, really great if you have like a humming noise, this can solve these sorts of problems. Now, in this case, I don't need this, but I might need the denoiser. Let's check it out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And that's the difference. So as you can see, in one click, takes away this hiss that came from my recorder. So let's have a listen again. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And that's the difference between so very effective and very fast. Now there's also a listen button here that allows you to hear what the denoiser does. Let's have a listen. Quite intriguing, I might dare say. and plugins. And as you can hear, there's a lot of noise that was removed right there. Now, the next module is the deesser. And most of the times when you start processing your voiceover and you add like top end, you add a little bit of EQ, you make it more present, then these S's become really, really prominent and they might be a little bit distracting or harsh. So the deesser solves that problem. Let's have a listen. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And that's the difference. And the DSR also has a listen button so we can hear what it does. So as you can see, it grabs all these annoying and harsh S's. Let's listen. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. So now let's have a listen to the voiceover with and without all the processing that we've done. First, let's listen without the clean and enhanced sections. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And that's the difference between analog gear and plugins. So as you can hear, we've imparted a lot of body, a lot of presence, volume to this voiceover, and now it's way, way easier to make it sit very well with the music. And I'm going to show you how you can make it sit very well with the music right now. Let's listen to the voiceover with the music track at the same time. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's... Uh... So as you can see, this music bed gets in the way of the voiceover at this stage. So let's say I want to move my voiceover like this and I want to have the intro play a little bit. Hello everyone and welcome. Now, one of the things that you can do super fast in WaveLab Cast and it's extremely important for podcasting is ducking. What ducking does is basically when the voiceover is present, then the music level will go down, leaving space for the voiceover to be heard. And that's super easy to do. Let me show you. I'm going to select the music track and I'm going to click on the ducker icon here. And I can select the source. I can have the host as the source. I can also have the sound effects channel as the source. But in this case, I just need the host to be the modulator track. And now check what happens. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, quite intriguing, I might dare say. And that's the difference between analog gear and plugins. And there's a lot of myths. So as you can hear, the music goes down when the voiceover is present. And when we have a little bit of a gap, 
the music level goes up and you can customize all these settings by pressing this E button here. So you can select how low the level of the music will be when the voiceover is present, the threshold of the voice, the attenuation hold time, the music fade out and the music fade in. So you can completely sculpt the darker according to your needs. So up to this point, we've talked about editing, we've talked about processing and we've talked about ducking, but WaveLab can also upload your podcast episode straight to your favorite service. And all you need to do is click on this icon here, upload episode, and here you can select different services. You can also create an RSS feed or even upload your episodes to an FTP server. And it has all the options you might need for these tasks. So in my case, I'm going to upload my podcast on SoundCloud. So all I need to do is literally hit upload and then WaveLabCast renders the podcast and it's also uploading it to SoundCloud. And here we go, episode successfully uploaded and it also gives me the episodes link so I can check it straight away on my browser. So as you can see, creating podcasts with WebLabCast is a breeze. From editing to processing to uploading, WebLabCast has you covered. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make some great content with WebLabCast. I'll see you in the next one.